Good afternoon, the chairman, human rights defender, access to justice advocate center, our legal department, co comrades, Ebu viewers, and Queen Mrs. Solution, alive from the KJ Allen Avenue branch. We have a case of breach of contract reported in this office by one Mr. John Boo James, who is based in Europe, Italy, to be precise, against one Mr. Eri Folami Adeda. Am I right? Okay, please join us as we interview the complainant all the way from Italy, and we have live in our office the accused person, Mr. Eri Folami Adeda. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV. Follow us on our Facebook on Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center. For more useful information, visit our website on www.hrdac.org.ng. Thank you very much. Okay, good morning, Mr. John Boo from here. Or good afternoon, sir. Okay, we have uh, Mr. Erifolami Adedayo that you complain against in Nigeria here, please. Can you tell us what transferred between you and him and why you reported him? Thank you. Uh, exactly. Uh, once again, good afternoon, ma, and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I, I, I reported uh, Mr. Dayo to human rights because uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, truthful uh, statement from me ever since I have given him this job. I don't just want to go back to the business that we have did before, but let me just only emphasize on the research uh, business I gave to him now to do for me. I, I requested him to help me to do uh, uh, what he called uh, Translation, translation of documents and legalization with also an endorsement. Meaning, you have to translate and endorse my death certificate and uh, went to think, uh, went to Alapo to help me to get a, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, a convict of Canada. Meaning to show that I have never been to jail before. So which he went to Alago to get the document. So what is remaining now is to endorse and uh, to legalize the document, uh, to translate it and bring it for me so that I can use it for citizenship. Because I'm, I requested for citizenship here in Italy. So I ever since Mr. Dario has been giving me different stories. Bring your face close to your camera. As continue. Yeah, go ahead. So ever since Mr. Dyer has been giving me different stories, now that there was lockdown, there was lockdown in Lagos uh, because of this COVID-19, so that the the COVID of Canada. Uh, uh, criminal certificate that I have to work collect in Alabama now expire because in that certificate they used to write three months uh, uh, the period that I can submit here in Italy. So if I didn't submit it before, before three months, that document will expire. So Mr. Dyer has to tell me to send him another 13,000. The one that made me to be very angry with him was that. He called me, Mr. Diana called me that Italian embassy called him that he should go and submit the document. That now that the uh, uh, certificate of criminal. I don't need you to shout from there because you are, you are echoing our line here by shouting. Ma? Can you turn your. Your camera. We'll get back to you. You don't need to shout. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. You 
don't need to yell. You just have to talk with your normal tone so that we can hear you out. Have you to there? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So, Mr. Bayo called me that the Italian embassy called him that she come and submit all my documents for, for them to uh, uh, legalize it. Okay. And I told him that uh, I will not allow them to send him money that he is going to go and submit. That time, the uh, certificate of criminal, criminal certificate that I have collected in Alabama, and the certificate of criminal certificate that I have collected in Alabama has expired. Then I have no sure that to send him another 13,000 dollars to renew that uh, uh, criminal certificate, which I sent to him instantly. I forwarded with my phone to him instantly. All to today, Mr. Dyer is telling me that there is another lockdown in Lagos. That is what is his excuse now. Uh, telling me now that there is lockdown, that Lagos has been declared another lockdown now. So, which I didn't believe that uh, uh, that statement he made, that word of office. So I decided to say no, he has got it too much. As I said earlier, I don't want to go back to what he has done before, how the business that we have went together together before. But the one he's doing now, because Dio is not ready. He's not ready to do this job for me. He's not ready. So either he come back my money, and all my documents today or let it give the human right and is going to get my document ready are you on so speaker are you on speaker yes can you remove that phone from speaker okay Okay, ma'am. Have you removed it from speaker? Yes. I'm watching. The total amount, the total amount I gave to him, is, uh, I gave to him so far, is 126,000 error. 126,000. Yes, ma'am. Has he released any document to you? I have, I have never received any document. I have never sent me any document. See, now all the document is within. All my document is within. It's all right. Hold the line. Mr. Dayo, how are you? Okay, you will speak up because I'm not the only one attending to your case. People join us so and from other family members. You had what uh, Mr. Jumbo said? Yes. Okay, can you respond to that? I know you have a, a bass voice, but it's still speaking. <coughs> well, Mr. Jumbo is my, is my client. This is not the first time I'm working for him. Okay. Even his wife that is over there now, the one that did the visa that she's over there now with her pretty. He gave me an, uh, um, job that I should deliver for him. That he wants to have his own children, which is citizens in Italy. Then when he gave me the job, I sent him a fingerprint from Nigeria here to over there. Then he did the fingerprint, sent it back to me in Nigeria. Then I went to... Mr. Jobu, can you position yourself properly? Yeah, so that I can be hearing him, because I'm not hearing him. That is why. Okay, go ahead. Okay. He gave me a job to deliver to him, which is citizenship. Then I collected the job for him. He paid me 70,000 naira up front, which so I went... that is advanced. Advanced, 70,000 naira, yes. Then, uh, I caught in Lagos Island. Then when I did the document, they said they are not going to accept that criminal certificate. That I have to go to Alagba, the state center, to go out and obtain police character certificate. 
Then I went there. I told him that they are not accepting the one that you asked me to go and do. I've told you as any other one. It's okay that you go and do it. Then I do that normal one. I did all the document that I was supposed to submit at the embassy. I did the declaration of age for him, national population, then the police character certificate, which is the document that I require at the embassy. When I finished up the document, I took the document to Foreign Affairs in Abuja for authentication. Then when I finished that, I take the document you to You went the, to Abuja or you send it? I sent a lawyer there. Then they returned the document back to him. Then I showed him that the document is back. Then when the back document is back, I took it to the transaction office, the authorized transaction from Italian embassy. Then I cancelled the document. When I cancelled the document, I submit the document to the embassy. They said they are not going to accept that criminal certificate, that I should go and redo it, which I do it again. Then during the processing, Knock, uh, knock down, come up. Then I'm not even calling for anything. Then I now set an appointment when they said they are going to be zoomed back. When I set for an appointment, they said, okay, that's why I renew the police character certificate, which is already expired after three months. Then I went to go, I called when, him. When did you finish the document? I finished the document. Sorry, yeah. Sir, why didn't you send it to him? They have to legalize it at the embassy before I can send it to him over there. And when did you submit it to the embassy? That was January, then now we turn it back. That's not that criminal certificate. This is the document I'm talking about. This is the police character certificate with the thumbprint. Okay, but you didn't submit it to the embassy. Why didn't you submit it to the embassy? Because you didn't think you were supposed to submit anything. Hold the line. Hold okay. on. I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Or if you submit any document and we'll confirm that it's fake. I hope you know that you'll be arrested. I'm asking you. You can, you can do the investigation and no, no, no problem. What I want from you is yes or no? Yes. You did this one when? It's like it's January. The date is on it. Oh, 31st of July. No, 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 no. What is this? 31st? Is it not 3107 2020? No, it's not this July. 2020 is not this July. In this July so well. how did they write? Uh, or you is it check. a different number I'm saying? You can check it, but it's not July. Because after the Okay, why? This is not a signature. This is cancellation of... No, the... This is 15th of January 2020. Uh, this, all this one is from a lag bomb. I'm not the one that's doing it. Yeah, but you need to correct it. It's from a lag bomb. The state said it's a lag bomb. That is where they, after he did the complaint, it gave it posted to me. When I take it to a lag bomb, they are the one that did all this. Because I don't know anything about this, all this information. It's that work over there. Yeah. You, which other one again? Then, this is the declaration of age. I did for him. And, and this the one is in anybody. Yes, that's the declaration of That is the national population. This is the declaration of it. Translation. That is the national population permission. This is the declaration of it and the translation. This translation in Italian language. Yes. I've done all the So what is holding the document being sent to him? Yes, what is happening now that embassy is not open to public. Maybe if I can send it to him over there. Without the legalization from the consulate section at the embassy, nothing they can do with it. Is there I'm not telling that there is no lockdown in Nigeria. I said embassy is not open to public. That they are not attempting to public. Even the appointment they gave to us, they cancel it. Hold
Where you disappeared to? I said, Where did you disappear to? It's in Nigeria, I did. Fine, thank you. Oh, God, they're fine. Everybody, they're fine. Are you? I'm a dad. I mean, is your embassy open to the people now? But not to the public. Yeah. Okay, but not to the public of a normal. No, no, no. Okay. And I saw it is with every other embassy. Okay, but other Europeans, uh, they are still like that. Let me call you back in like in 30 minutes time and go when I want to see you. Thank you. All right, I just call it. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I just called the staff of Italian Embassy. They are not open. I believe you are hearing because the phone was on speaker. That they just open people that want to family reunion for people that want to join their family and other uh, other other application that don't have to do with uh, these general activities and it's only UK that will be open fully next week but for now other European uh, embassies like uh, Italian German and other thing is still on the skeletal work so what you do, I'm still going to contact him much later today to tell me when they started work fully. Then if they start fu work fully and he did not uh, uh, reconcile your document and send to you, then we'll take it off from there. Okay, ma. Yeah. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, Mr. We wanted to say something, yeah. yeah. Because when he said he's already going to report me to someone who said there's no problem, I want him to send the person down to the embassy so that we can go there for verification so they can believe me. That we have a bet that if embassy is not working, normally to balance pay up forty thousand dollars. From balance, which one? From this job I'm doing. Yeah, finish it first. Yes, but we have a bet that if it's not if they are not working for now. I'm going to add another extra sixty thousand naira with that job that is not to pay me hundred thousand. Until the document comes first. Then that's what I told you. No, 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 don't go there, please. I just want to tell. Don't go there. Uh, because first. he doesn't believe me when I told him all this. Then that is listen to me. When you are dealing with somebody, you're dealing with your customer, you treat your customer as your customer. Yes. You don't need to say that. Everybody have. There is tension everywhere. He is not in Nigeria, and probably based on his own experience with other people, he have the he, he have the, uh, he can he, he reserve the right to uh, me to disbelieve you. When he said you said there is a lockdown in Nigeria, and there is no full lockdown in Nigeria, people are still working one day off, one day off. Yes. Yet it's not a full activities people are running, but not that there is still a lockdown in Nigeria. Let's just understand that probably both of you misunderstood yourself at that point. Then the issue of the embassy, if I, if I don't know somebody that work in the embassy, as far as 
embassy is being opened and people still go in and come out. Nobody can know if the embassy is open to the public or open to a specific uh, uh, department, as he stated, as their staff stated now. So if people see the embassy is open, and you, you are telling them that the embassy is not open, <laughs> it may doubt you that by somebody called me from Nigeria to tell me Whereas they are open for other no, departments, but not general activities. Yeah. So that should not come in because uh, if you did not, if you have not been doing well, you cannot uh, engage you in the past uh, business you people have done within yourself for the past and this thing. So let's just take just put more effort once the embassy is open, you rectify the document, bring it to our office here. Give you your balance, then they send it back to him. Okay, yeah. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV and follow us on our Facebook page on Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center for more useful information. Subscribe to our uh, uh, follow us on www.hrdac.org.ng. Sorry for the mistake. And thank you for joining us. God bless you.